Hey, what's up, universe? It's 10.31 a.m. on Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Uh, I'm, f I'm feeling really grateful and light, honestly. Um, and this is a big shout out uh, to Reese. <laughs> I get to say that. <clears throat> I get to say that because... Um, and this is, I, this, there's a couple inspirations for this journal. Um, one is, is to express my deep appreciation for Reese. And I messaged her this morning, and just like I said in my previous video, and she replied back, and she's like, it's going against our truth is, you know, she was just like, that's, she doesn't wish that on me, you know? And so she's like, speak your truth. She's like, I just ask, you know, and she defined her boundaries. And I'm like, 100%. Like, no problem. Like, because I feel like I know Reese, or at least I did, you know? Uh, I feel like I know her well enough to understand what her boundaries are, right? Like I said in the previous journal, I'm like, I, I just want to say her name. Like, I know everything else, like, that she would... I know what she would not wouldn't want me to talk about, I feel like. And if I have a question about it, then I'll ask her. I don't feel like I'd... <clears throat> you know, the boundaries I think I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty aware of. And so I'm just deeply grateful that she's like... Just, yeah, fine. Say my name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, so I'm grateful for that. At the same time... The trigger, I was thinking about this earlier, like right after I did the last video, it started to come to me and I was like, ah, see, so like, I was like, what was the gold about the trigger, right? Um, and so this individual who inspired that, this is for you, if you're still, if you still happen to watch these videos, this is my gratitude for you. Um, because through that, like I felt, like I spoke before I said that I felt like I needed to defend myself and I did. Yet, <clears throat> that wasn't because of this individual, and it wasn't because of Reese. It was because inside of me, although I wasn't consciously aware, but inside of me, I knew that there was a lack of a boundary. I knew that this was not defined and that it needed to be defended. Yet, I didn't know what it was, and I was defending it from an unconscious place. And, and in an unconscious way. You know, like, so all of these patterns like this, okay, I got to defend myself. And this is like, here's my edge. Here's my, you know, here's a little bit of my feralness, my, my energy, like to defend myself. Um, because I didn't have a boundary defined. I, ha I had that really like, like, how did I put it? Edgy, edgy energy, because I, I didn't have a boundary defined. And when I have a boundary defined, like, there's no reason to be jittery or edgy for me. I'm just like, no, that's, that's, the, that's the boundary. And things are on one side and things are on another side. There's no, like, oh my God, it's, there, it's not like a fire alarm where it's like, oh my God, there's an emergency. <clears throat> it's something that I'm already prepared for because I defined it. I'm like, no, this is what this is, you know? And so through that trigger, it realized that I hadn't defined my boundary around, you know, that part of me with Reese, where it was like, look, Reese, like, here's my, here's my boundary on, on my speech. You know, I know this may be uncomfortable for you and I can appreciate that. And at the same time, my truth is this, and I can respect and honor you with the other boundaries. It's just like saying your name, like, identifying like you know it's that's who you are you're Reese <laughs> you know like and you can hear it and see it like there's no reason for me to call her anything other than that it's in <clears throat> it's a form of endearment you know um so I'm grateful for that I'm grateful for having the awareness around that, the potency of boundaries, and to become aware of that. So thank you to that individual, honestly. I mean, seriously, so there are so many things to be grateful for. Thank you for allowing me to demonstrate <clears throat> what 
the power of boundaries are and to also be part of the process of uh of what triggers are and what you know due to the lack of boundaries and like to go kind of full circle with it so that's it's a big awesome lesson so thank you for being a part of that honestly that's really cool um and i'll just offer you my apologies for being so for having for directing that energy towards you you know what i mean like the and this is the kind of thing i'm talking about like that energy has its place like for defining boundaries but like at the same time like I can only imagine what that individual may have felt receiving that inf energy from me. And I have received that energy before. That's a learned energy. And you know what I mean? Like I was modeled that. That's, that's a very familiar energy. Um, and it's part, there's reasons why I am working on only employing that in certain ways under certain circumstances and it's really just around boundaries and even then there's the compassion side there's the like okay i have defined this boundary but like there's a reason something is coming up against the boundary what is it you know like the energy that was modeled to me was um like with and i'm going to use legal terms like with prejudice and like disproportional and yeah with extreme prejudice <laughs> is the best way to put it and that's also a military term if you're familiar with that you can understand like what these terms mean and energetically this is how it was modeled to me you know and when when things happen that are so jarring because of a lack of a boundary then the response is disproportional and with extreme prejudice. Now, I feel like I've dialed that way back, yet the edge and the cut still remains, you know what I mean? And so I, I can only imagine what this individual may have felt. And I'm just grateful, <clears throat> like I said, for being a part of that entire process, because that's a really cool thing. Um, and my, my apology may mean nothing, and I understand that too. So the consequences of my own actions, I have to be, um, I have to be okay with that. And I am, and at the same time, I also desire to not do a lot of harm or any harm, you know, um, physically or energetically or emotionally. I look to be mindful about my vibration and my energy that I put out into the world and that is definitely part of it and so while i own that and i acknowledge that part of me and i'm not going to shame it or feel guilty about it i am going to also acknowledge that i'm extremely mindful and i can feel the word regret um and i'm not sure that's quite the right word but it's there's a sense of responsibility uh, around that energy and just being to not do unnecessary harm because I have absolutely destroyed things with that energy intentionally. And it's a really good way to do it. <laughs> if you're just looking to destroy things. You know. Um, so... All right, that's my message for today, for now. So thank you again for the space. Thank you for being here. Thank you for our relationship and journeying with me and being a part of this. Thank you very much. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.